enemies will do more damage to this as well. So technically, if I had got an enemy to come goo that- Oh, there you go! I got my fine wood! Welcome back to Valheim, everyone. Jason here, and we are making our uh, base. In the last episode, we kind of got started. I went over some of the building stuff. We don't need to have all this stuff. So I'm going to get rid of some of this. But we're going to need to build ourselves a uh, some kind of a shelter just to start out with. This doesn't have to be our, our final shelter, but something that will actually protect us from enemies and the environment. Oh, we also need to make our... Uh, we make our crafting station. Remember, from the last episode, this needs to have a roof over it. That way we can use it. So now we should be able to. Yep, because there's a roof directly over it. That's all you need. And then in order to fix your stuff, like right now my hammer, if you can see over the top left, my hammer is almost broken. So we're going to need to fix that. In your workbench menu, you see how it has the uh, right or the little hammer right there glowing, kind of uh, popping in and out. That is how you fix your items. So if I click in the right thumbstick, there you go. We've repaired it. So that's how you repair anything in your inventory. And you don't need materials in order to repair it. It'll just repair on its own, you know? So you don't have to worry about, oh, I have to gather some stuff or whatever. Nope. You are good to go. So let's start uh, making this. Oh, God. So we don't need that. We put our fire in the wrong spot, I think. That's all right. Pop that right there. Right there. And right there. Nope. I hate that I can't see. Now, if I had a... There are tools you get later on, like a hoe, that will uh, flatten the area and it'll take away the grass. That makes it a little easier to see what you're doing. Pop that off. Okay. I'm going to put that fire back, but we need to put it in, a, yeah, in the corner. Now, remember, fire needs to be on the dirt. It needs to be on the ground for it to actually work. You can't put it like you, know, you can't put it right there. Oh no, it won't even let me do it because I don't have it, but it won't let me put it on top of wood. You need to only have a flo uh, actual literal uh, ground. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's talk to Hugan. Be wary of the weather when the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. Okay, yeah, we, t we went over that in the last episode. So when you're at night, the enemies come out more often, and you have to worry about being cold. If you're, the more cold you are, the less you know health regeneration. Your stamina regenerates really, really slow. So you don't want to deal with that if you can help it. Pop that right there. So now I can hopefully make a floor. I think that's good. Okay, there we go. This is going to be very basic. This is just going to be like like our our quickly, hey, this is how we come home scenario. Because <laughs> there's no way we can build anything super fancy yet. Yeah, see, we don't even have enough wood. Got to get our wood. So you can also make like uh, a lot of players will make a wood farm. So they'll pick a, uh, oh, we need to eat some more food. They will pick a part of the forest and they will just make their uh they will make that their farming location so they'll they'll flatten it out they'll chop all the trees down and then you get seeds from your trees you can uh, you can actually go back and replant them so you're gonna need a, a, again you're gonna need more tools later on you'll get a cultivator later on that lets you farm so you can grow your own food and you need that to plant tree seeds in the uh, wilderness how much wood do we have we only have 12 we're gonna need more than that Oh, here comes the enemies. Come here, buddy. Now, if you have your uh, torch out, they will run away because they don't like fire. However, he's just running away because. So, like, if I pull my torch out, there you go. See, he'll run away. He's like, nope, I don't want to deal with that. So, if you don't want to deal with the graylings, you just pull out your torch. It will slowly degrade and you'll run out, so you'll have to make another torch. But if you just want to get rid of them for now, you could totally do that. Yeah, and so you'll see the torch is slowly draining. It will go away eventually. So, and you can use it as a weapon. You can hit them if you want to. So, if I wanted to, I could just like, I could just put put it in my uh, hand. Let me put this like this. Oh no! There we go. Got to redo it. I could do that. 
And that really messes up because it lit, some, light him on fire. Yes, light, lit him on fire. But yeah, so you can use it as a weapon. I would not suggest doing that. It's not a, it's not a really good weapon. You do a little fire damage, sure, but it's just mostly for hey, we need to light up these uh, nighttime. Keep yourself a little bit warm. And over here. Man, wood cutting is so slow. I need to upgrade this stuff. There we go. Up oh, now it's daytime. There you go. So now again, you'll get warmer in the daytime when the sun comes out. I mean, the sun's not really out yet, but I'm getting, you know, I'm getting warmer right now anyway. All right, that should be Oh, really? Got him. There we go. Now you'll see my fire is just kind of out there. You have to be careful with the flames from your fire because they will actually, uh, you will choke if you can't breathe. So you have to be careful with that. So if you make a fire in a house like this, you want to make a chimney as well. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to pop in my, uh, my roof right here. This is going to be very simple. But we're going to leave that one open because we're making a chimney over there. So what we can do is we can make a wall right there. Oh, remember, you got to line it up perfectly. There it is. There we go. And it looks kind of funky, I know. If you need it to look aesthetically, like, you don't need to put anything there. But if you want it to look aesthetically, like, normal, you can just do this. That way it looks like kind of there's something there. That way it's not just floating out in the middle of everything. There you go. So now it looks and feels like it's actually a, a chimney. You know, so there you go. We also need to put a roof, like a literal roof. So let's pick our uh, roof right here. And remember... You gotta put a little bit more pressure on your uh, on your structure by you doing this. So you might need to. Up, oh, let's line it up. Come on, line up. I might need to go outside and just do this. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna have to go outside. Okay. But we also need to destroy this so we can make a doorway. So let's see. Can I? Uh... Oh no, I'm, I'm not gonna. I have to make a freaking staircase or a ladder. Dang it! Again. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, my roof is really steep. Oh, no! I fell off. Okay. Again, I am not the best builder. This is going to be a Beeble Bum thing. If you guys really want to know how to build, go over to Beeble Bum's B-Side channel. He has a ton of awesome videos on how to build. Way better than I, I will ever show you. Let me do this. There we go. Now we're on the edge. Okay, perfect. Now you need to, to snap it. This is where a free camera would really come in handy, Valheim. There you go. Okay. So once you get the first one in, you're good. So now we are set. So I, all I have to do is like this. So I can lock it onto the other one. Once you get one piece in, it's really easy to get the other ones in. Here we go. Get in there. Beautiful. Now the problem. Now we're we're good. We're we're safe, right? The problem you're gonna find with your uh, with your chimney is your chimney needs a cover because if the rain comes down, it'll put out your fire, and there's nothing protecting our fire from the rain. So we're gonna need to do that. But I want to make our uh, our uh, beginning, our our entrance over here. Oh, we're gonna need to go a little steeper. So we'll do nope, not that one. This one. There you go. And we'll put in our uh, our building block right there. So now all of our, our uh, pieces are kind of leaning on each other. That's why they're all kind of green. If you have something that's just out in the middle of nowhere, it's going to, you know, it will turn uh, orange or even red. So all of our stuff is kind of leaning. It's all good. It's all leaning on each other. There we go. And we'll make a door. Oh, no, we don't have enough wood for our door. Oh, man. Gotta make some more wood. Again, you're gonna be chopping wood forever, you guys. So just be ready for that. Here we 
go. And there's also a secondary uh, attack. So, let me go into my menu and I'll show you. Go to our uh, controls. You have a secondary attack. You see mine is on the right bumper. If you're using the classic control scheme, scheme the classic controls, it will be your right bumper. And uh, every weapon has a secondary attack. So even if you're if you're uh, just nothing, nothing in your hands, you have your punch, which is your normal, and then you have your cool Spartan kick. Boom! There you go. But every weapon also has that as well. So this is my normal up right here. That's your normal attack, just swinging like that. Then you have your over the head. Boom! Like a hammer. I totally missed him on that. No! I totally missed him. But you can use that also to chop down trees if you're using your axe, right? So it does a little bit more damage, but it also takes more of your stamina to use. So the benefit of this is your uh, your axe will actually last longer because it's only based on the amount of hits, not how much damage you do. So if you do five of these smaller hits, you're going to do less damage, but it's also going to equal out to the same amount of wear on your axe. So you see how I'm only doing 6.5 if I do a big one. 14, you're doing double damage with the big... Oh, my God. Oh, don't get killed. Don't get killed. <gasps> this is another one. Guys, damn it. You know how I told you guys that... Uh, oh, I, I don't know if I've told you guys. If you chop down a tree and it falls, it will hurt you. It does damage. You can use that to your advantage. So these trees are too hard for me to, uh, to uh, hack up right now because I don't have any advanced equipment. See how it says too hard? I'm not doing any damage to that. However... This big log will smash into it, and it'll do damage to it. So you can actually get more advanced wood early on by smashing your logs together. <laughs> Giggity. So if you do that, you can get the fine wood that comes out of that wh the uh, white, cool-looking log. So let's do this. Oh, it killed. Oh, my God. It killed the other log. I thought this one would die. It did not. Oh, my God. Okay. So let's see if I could do this one. We need to... No, don't do that. It's going to break itself. Oh! I was, trying to, I was trying to destroy this one. Okay, so let's see if this log will fall down this way. Fall towards me, please! Fall to the left. Fall to the left. If it does, it might... It might. Yes! Yes, fall to the left! Fall to the left! Oh, no, not really. Oh, dang it. That did not work out. Yeah, see, there's a rock in between them. What if I smash it with this one? How do I do this? Oh, God. Yeah, Z0. Doesn't do anything against the rocks, so you can't use the rocks to your advantage. But maybe I can move it like this. Oh, God. Nope, nothing. Okay. So this is definitely something you can do, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's kind of a pain in the butt. However, you can get more advanced items. Oh, God. That hurt. You can't get more advanced items doing this. And you can also, there's another way to do this. There's enemies in the game. Enemies will do more damage to this as well. So technically, if I had got an enemy to come good, oh, there you go. I got my fine wood. So fine wood is really, really hard to get early on. You need a metal ax. You can't use a stone one like I have, or even a, uh, like if you get a flint one, you can't use that either. You have to use metal. But we just got our awesome, awesome fine wood. So there you go. That's a secret to do this. It's, you know, it's one of those deals where mm, maybe, possibly. Oh, God. Don't hurt yourself, though. You will get damaged doing this. Oh, we're, we're running out of our... Um, oh, God! We're getting smashed by some logs here. There we go. We'll just force it to smash into it. There we go. Come on. It takes a lot of damage because we're not chopping it. Come on. Oh, no. Really?
There we go. Got a lot of fine wood now. So you can use fine wood to make more advanced items like uh, a fine wood bow or furniture. You can make a chair and things like that. So that is very, like if I go into my build menu actually right now, I can show you. So there's this, but we can also, we can make like a, a log, a sitting log, but we can also make like chairs, tables now that we have our fine wood, but we, we don't want to make any of that right now. The more important thing to get early on is a fine wood bow. You want that weapon. That weapon is really, really good and useful. This guy over here, he, he's really going to come around. Really? Okay, fine. Let's get him. Gotta, gotta make sure. Done. You're done, buddy. Take him out. There we go. Oh, I broke my axe as well. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, well, we have... Let's get some flint, because a flint axe is actually does a lot more damage than a stone one will. So let's do that. We also are going to need flint for some other stuff later on. So just running around. We're looking for those cool, like, oblong uh, stones. Or rocks that are like a light gray. Oh, that's an enemy. I need to fix some stuff as well. Hey, we're doing okay. Wait a minute, I have my staircase out here. Why do I have that? Oh, wait a minute, we're going to need to make our chimney still, so... We're going to need that. All right. Let's get in here. We should be able to uh, make our... Let's fix our axe real fast. There we go. Should be able to make our door. We need that. That way no enemies can just walk in here. There you go. There you go. So as long as this door is closed, no enemies can walk into your base. Or into your building. So we're good, right? I mean, eh, we need to make a, um, need to fix this up. And then, boom, we need to put our, uh, our stabil stabilizer right there. Beautiful. And you don't need to put this up here. However, if an enemy sees you, they could throw a rock through that big hole. So that's why I always, uh, pick, you know, finish it off. Just so an enemy can't throw a rock through there. That would mess you up. All right, let's fix the rest of this chimney. Remember, we need to put a roof on this thing. So what we're going to do is that. We have a lot of wood because we just tore down a lot of trees. So you want it to be above your roof line right here. Because you want the smoke to come out and go above your roof line. Oh, look at that fog. I love that. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to put one little tiny wall over here. You know, whichever direction you want your roof to be, that's where you want your wall. So that that's what I'm talking about right here. There you go. And then what we can do is we'll put little tiny uh, poles to hold up. So it does not look like our, uh, our roof is like, or our chimney is just floating there. At least it has some kind of st stability on it. We can get rid of that one and we'll put this in here. This is very basic, you know. This is just to get it done. This is not going to look fancy or anything like that. Hey, hey. Let me up here. There we go. So it's not to look fancy or anything like that. It's just to get it done. There we go. There you are. So there you go. I mean, we can put one right there. There you go. So now it's complete. So now all the smoke will go out right there. Because if we had it just the fire open, it would just be in here in our roof. So, I mean, that's another reason why to leave those little air holes in the top. But, eh, that's fine. We have a lot of grass. I should have flattened this, but I don't care. That's all right. This is not our permanent home. This is not our forever home. This is just to get us by for now. So now we need to make a bed. So there should be... In your furniture tab, there should be like a chest you can put stuff in, but also a bed. We need to put a bed down. That way we can always spawn here because if you don't uh, put a bed down and you die, you will spawn at the generic spawn location, which is over here. You'll always spawn at this little stone area. You don't want to do that. You know, if, if I'm way far away, you don't want to do that because then it's a long ways to go back. A headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. That's the other thing, too. You will get rested bonus, and you will also be able to sleep throughout the night. That way you don't have to worry about running around at night when it's cold. There we go. 
The other thing we can do is we can start making uh, our crafting tables. We can make a uh, cooking station. So now that we have a fire, you can put a little uh, cooking station over it. You don't have to put it... Like, I, I like to do at least two. So I'll put one, two. So there you go. So now I can cook meat on these cooking stations. You can only do... This is a very basic cooking station, so you can only cook two at a time. So that's why I put down double. So I have four. I can cook four meat. Do I have any meat? Oh, I do. I have neck meat. Okay, a neck tail. You can cook that. And it will automatically take whatever item. You don't have to, like, activate it or anything like that. It'll just take whatever raw item you have in your inventory. So keep in mind, it will take any of your raw food. So if you don't want to cook something, like uh, recipes later on, they require raw food. You don't want to cook it, then take it out of your inventory. Because it'll just automatically grab it, whatever it is. Oh, it's cooked. Now, you don't want to leave your, your food cooking there. Like, look, it's already done. It's brown. I can grab it. There you go. If you leave it there, it'll burn and turn into charcoal. So you do not want that. that. You need to keep, keep your eye on your food, whatever you're cooking. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make a chest. So let's see. Can we make a chest? We can't. We need more wood. Holy cow, we need more wood. All right. So the other thing we need to look at is, can I make a um, flint? Oh, I can. So a flint axe is actually sharper than your stone axe. This is an upgrade. So let's do that real fast. We also... Oh, wait a minute. We have a hoe right here. I can I can put a... Uh, I can make you a hoe. Oh! Well, we're doing that. All right. So we have a hoe. So this is what I talked about when you want to flatten the area to make sure everything's level. Like right here. All you want to do is wherever you're standing, that's where you're going to level it out. So if I pull out my hoe, there you go, level ground. Or if you go to your build menu, you can raise it. If you have rocks, you have to have stone. Or you can make a path if you want. What we're going to do is we're just going to level it. So the, the ground around me, wherever my, my target is, that's where I'm going to raise it. You see how it's above? But if I move over to a higher ground, it'll actually raise. So it only raises it to wherever your feet are. So that's what you want to do. You want to stand on the level that you want to be. Now, it won't it won't raise it too much. Like if I over here, it'll raise it a little bit, but it's not going to raise it very much. So you need to actually raise the ground rather than level it. It'll try, but you see how it is more of a slope now? Yeah. So you don't want to, it's not going to raise it up like a whole bunch. It'll raise it a little bit. There we go. So now, yeah, yeah, see, you raise it just a little, just a hair, just a little bit. Oh, we need to get rid of our ladder. Now that we're good, get rid of that ladder. There we go. So we're going to ra uh, raise it down. Let's go talk to Hugin. He'll tell me about my hoe. You have crafted a hoe. This tool is used for landscaping, and you could say it's the perfect complement to the hammer. Use it to clear the ground and manipulate the terrain. It is easier to create buildings on level ground. Yes. That way you can make all your floors the same. You don't have to worry about it like floating and having undue pressure on it. Up, oh, let's go to level. Let's see, can I do it? Nope, I can't. I can't do it once I have the floorboards down. Dang it. That means I literally have to destroy my floor and then and then put it back once I've leveled it. That should be enough. All right. So now, if I go over here to level. There we go. Okay, so now we're level again for real. And and we took away the grass. That way it's not peeking through my floorboards. It was just irritating me. That I couldn't see anything. All right, so now we're good. The other thing that you have to be careful of is you can light yourself on fire. If you get too close to your fire, it will light you up. So you don't want to do that. Or if you want to stop yourself from doing that, what you can do is you can. Oh, no, I don't have enough wood. Dang it. You can put a little uh, uh, pillar or pole where you want to stop yourself. So let's do this. We're going to our flint axe. Oh, we got feathers. See, our flint axe is doing way more. Look at that. We were doing six. Now we're doing 11 and nine. So you're doing some really good damage when you have the... Oh, God, watch out. The flint. <laughs> you can also get rid of these stumps. I know uh, Golden Gek, he hates having stumps left over. 
So if you want to, you can get rid of the stumps. That way they're not just sitting there. They're like an eyesore. You can't do that. They don't give you very much wood, so it's not really worth it. But, I mean, if you want to visually make it look really good around your place, go ahead and do it, I guess. Here we go. And we'll use a big chopping. There you go. 20! Look at that! Boom! 20. There you go. Use the big one. Get out of here. There we go. And boom! There we go. So we got a lot of wood. Let's go back into our home. So now what we need to do is we need to make a chest. So you need 10 wood. So you need a lot of wood to make your uh, chest. So keep that in mind. We'll put one right there. We're going to need a lot of room though. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a few of them around. Just so, you know, just... Oh, we don't have enough wood. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> so now we can put in items. Like if I have, I have two axes right now. I can put this one in here. If I ever die, I will respawn at my bed. But you respawn with nothing in your inventory. You drop everything. So it's always good to have a backup, you know, weapon just in case. So you, you want to put your food in here. Anything you want to be able to grab later on, put it in here. So I'm just going to put in a whole bunch of stuff just to get it out of my inventory. Dun, dun, dun. We have our fine wood. Oh, yeah, we have our amber. That's only used for... Uh, you can only sell that to get some money. So you, I don't really have a use for it. You can't build anything with it, so you might as well put it away. And we'll put our wood over here. So we have our fine wood. That's going to be useful later on. We also have core wood. Core wood is very, very useful for building some, uh, like, structures. Core wood is very strong compared to normal wood. So you want to use core wood generally. But that's going to be for our forever home. We don't need the hoe, so we're going to put that away. You only use the hoe for, you know, you only use it for, like, flattening and, you know, basically preparing the soil for building. So we're not going to be building, so we don't need it. I think it's nighttime, right? It is nighttime. So instead of uh, walking around at night, we're going to sleep through the night. Oh, I didn't even claim the bed. I forgot to claim my bed. Well, now that it's our bed, we've slept in it. We're going to sleep through the night. We're going to wake up the next morning. And if I die, like if we're out on our adventures and I happen to die, I will respawn here. I love it. Let's go. So, dude, we are freaking building. The next thing we need to do, we need to start getting some more armor. So right now we have like nothing. We have basically, we have a rag tunic. We don't even have pants. We don't have a hood or uh, a cape or anything. So we need to do that. Let's go to our workbench. Let's see what we got. We have, oh, we don't have anything. So what we need to do is we need to get leather. We have to go find some pigs. We have to go find some deer. We got to do a whole bunch of stuff. So I will do that in the next episode, you guys. So hopefully you guys liked the episode. If you did, hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Whoa, that's a good shot. Oh, it was. Okay, there it is. Boom.